Um, it's called Heroes. I thought I'd pick one that's a bit light-hearted because some of the ones are a bit yeah. uh, depressing. So yeah, here it goes. It's called Heroes. Never meet your heroes when they've got facial wipes wrapped around digits, dulling their sheen with alcohol. Don't mistake that glass of water as a welcoming gesture. It's for the old dentures. These heroes are timeless, but it's a shame about that enamel. As Peggy Sue and the Pirates warbled, Superman up close is a wrinkly maverick or underpants and tears. And what on earth will you talk about? Annoying yourself with chatter as he plucks the hairs from his knuckles. The hero is not a man of words, so next time you meet one, lay down twisted, feigning forlorn, whisper backwards into your nostrils, let your face flush and eyes water. And as he fumbles to your rescue, shaking, shaking the webs from his cape, the shape he makes before dipping you up will look something like an autograph. to you. You may be lonely, but more power to you. felt that feeling when they're looking for something in their lives but they're not sure what they're looking for but you know you, only, you need to find something that you enjoy doing and you know that's the point in your life you know it takes a while to find it so that's the idea kind of what happens when all the individual threads bunch together so one thread by itself you can't really see it but put sort of 10 or 12 together and suddenly you get kind of like a shard of colour and, um, and it's the same with the weight we're kind of you know one of those threads they're quite strong threads it'll take five kilos but that's not enough to hold a person but like by having hundreds all together then actually we can start to support people we should be able to get sort of two maybe three people on a good day inside it weeping softly I don't know why Cocktail of emotion, result I cry. Overbearing weight of duty I feel. Confusion, agitation, anxiety so real. Yet I know it only stems from fear. That which is untrue, yet feels so near. So real I'm running for my life, I'm sure. As I see the lions approach my door. They're in my dreams, a place I feared the most. My subconscious reservoir, my soul the host. 
And surely the thing I must not fear is myself, for I would ever be running yet from no one else. This place of darkness, fear and unknown, dive into its depths, explore, look around. For if that within you you do not question turns out to be good, how can you mention? And how can one claim to be righteous and good if they never thought otherwise and did what they should? Ignorance is bliss, it's ingrained in our sand, yet fear and ignorance go hand in hand. Why do I feel this pain so dull? I have all I need to live a life so full. I was given a chance in this life of mine, and now I only fear wasting the boundaries of time. I must stand tall and show who I am, and fight for the race, the people, the land. For love is the only reality, this I'm sure, and the fear in my dreams I feel no more. I like the big spiral achieve things, little violets all over the ground. Yeah, <laughs> down the end. <laughs>